everyone i just saw the actually my friend of the family actually presented me with an article that was in usa today regarding tech 808 and an initiative that will involve oakland and the idea to the idea is to bring in quote people who have baseball caps and are in hip-hop with tech first of all the perception that you all put out there and Mitch Kapoor really contributes to this is that blacks aren't involved in tech and that very few of us are, are paid attention to by Silicon Valley. I'm going to tell you straight out, that's for the most part really wrong. You, and I'm going to say this by example that involves Mitch. I met Mitch through Eric Moore two years ago. I have two companies, Sports Business Simulations. We make online simulations of sports organizations for use in the classroom. And then Zenny 62 Media, of which the center of which is zenny 62com and also Oakland Focus, Oakland's first blog. I established Oakland's first blog. Also, I was Oakland's first YouTube partner. Okay? So, with all that, I reached out to Mitch about finding a program to restart SBS. Mitch never got back to me. I called him, never returned my phone calls, nothing. And here I'm African American. You don't have to wear a baseball cap. There are plenty of us out there who have not just good ideas, but running companies, but they, you, we get ignored. If we're really serious out there, then you know, put your money where your mouth, put your actions where your mouth is and your money too, and reach out to us. You know, I have a, a blog business that I've ran and has contributed revenue that I live on and travel on. And yet you present out the, you present the, impression that there aren't black tech entrepreneurs out there or in Oakland. Hello, I've been around for over a decade. What's going on? I'm here. So stop the games and stop the PR uh, manipulation because it doesn't help anybody. The bottom line is for anyone you want to get funded, you have to have a product, have a present yourself and then talk to more than one person. It is hard. It really is. But also, don't ignore someone who's black out there just because maybe you think they're too intellectually aggressive or or maybe they don't present a hip-hop effect or, quote, aren't black enough. I resent that. And sometimes that's the message that's sent out to me. And in spite of all that, look, I'm out there doing it. I've done it. I've done it for years. No one stopped me. You guys aren't going to stop me either. I'm happy to help you. But some of you have seen my videos before and some of you know that I'm out there. Stop the games. I'm just saying, stop the games. And as a follow-up to what I said in my before, rappers have been involved in tech. If it, if not MC Hammer is one example, the chameleon who was a fixture for a time at TechCrunch events like TechCrunch Mobile, for example. So, and they've gotten better entree into Silicon Valley than fo folks like me. You know, I had to actually go the route of, of covering tech events as press to then come to know entrepreneurs. I remember I had Tim O'Reilly basically tell me by email that I wasn't, you know, a press guy, that I was a tech entrepreneur. But did Tim reach out to me as a tech entrepreneur and say, hey, I'm interested in what you're doing? No, he never has. So I had to actually hammer and pound by way of producing content about tech products and startups to finally get my foot in the door and start covering, covering these events. I've covered CES for the last six years in a row, and I made you more YouTube videos up from CES than any other single media outlet, anyone. So I'm saying, if you guys are serious, you contact me. I'm happy to help you.